they're not taking me seriously. Here they come! I love this level. Just shoot it, boss! If my two full playthroughs of it and its near top inclusion on my top N64 games list wasn't enough of an indication, I fucking love Star Fox 64. The best in its franchise, one of the best reimaginings of all time, and certainly a hell of a romp through space. Tight controls, infinite quotables, and a short form level structure that makes it addictive. It's a fantastic warm up game to get you ready to play something meatier. And on today's installment of I Love This Level, I'll be breaking down my favorite part to revisit the Forever Train on the planet Macbeth. So you're going to attack the enemy base? Great idea, Fox! It'll be a piece of cake, General. Good luck. Now, the biggest compliment I can give this level right off the bat is that it's one of my favorite types of levels. It's a train like level. Something about rustic track sounds just takes me back to being a small little boy in Seattle. It just warms me up. It makes me feel at home. Oh, yeah! Listen to that! However, transportation type within level bias aside, there's still a lot within this level's design that lets it stand out amongst the crop of action and memorable moments within this cartridge. Even in its first chunk of the level, it's doing a lot to help the player, given you're constricted to the ground the entire time since you're in that sweet landmaster. While not the only level to feature this vehicle, it does a better job at letting you grasp on the range of its weapons and is a great crash course in the mechanics of it as a whole. It starts off wonderfully by locking the train to the far left of the screen and having a variety of enemies and obstacles to let you plow through and learn the limits you can reach within certain boulder formations that you can either destroy or rise above. It's that old school teaching without tutorials that I really enjoy, even if Peppy spells things out half the time. Side note, another reason why I really love this level is the boss is with you the entire time. Something that doesn't really happen to this capacity in the game outside of Andros on Venom. The entire time you're maneuvering around the train and enemies, the conductor is throwing little jabs at you, enticing you to keep trying to stop him. And as the level progresses, you're also tested on the mechanics you've had time to work on with weirder enemy combinations and the train shifts across the screen as the tracks move. Just a nice little subtle touch that you don't really notice is testing you, but it's just makes the level all the, all the more better. Hell, my favorite part of the level outside of the end is when you're trapped in the tunnel behind it, moving around the closing bars. It's a tense moment that the level builds to incredibly well. That being said, at the end of the level, it's just extra spicy. It's where the level really shines bright. One of the cooler aspects of this game are its branching paths that you can change depending on what objectives you meet in level, whether it be a secret path, fulfilling a mission objective, or even finding a warp sometimes. Macbeth takes the cake, though, by letting the player choose to fight the boss or not. As you make your way to the front of the train, you come across this stretch where there's track control switches along the way. Some behind walls, and some around in the open. Hit them all, and you can send the train off to its demise, taking you on the harder path. But stick around, and you can fight the boss normally, and go along the, the regular path. I love this aspect of Star Fox 64, and I love what this level did with that concept. As a child, I remember initially having issues with this and getting frustrated with fighting the dragon boss creature. While I love the design of the boss, I'll be honest, I'm always always aiming for those track control switches. Mostly because if you do succeed in sending the train to its demise, you get the best boss explosion in the game. It's a great, exciting reward for a harder task. It's that reward combined with the looming boss, pace of the level, and overall level aesthetics that make this the best level in Star Fox 64 to me, and a moment worth discussing in this pilot of a new bi-monthly segment where I break down my favorite levels and sequences from games. Now after all of this, that's not to say Macbeth is the only iconic level in Star Fox 64. From Zonus' searchlights, Sector X and Asteroid Field's warps, or the tense missile attack on Sector Z, there's a lot of memories I've held with this game, and I could definitely see myself revisiting it on another episode. And that's pretty much going to conclude this pilot episode of I Love This Level. It's the segment that I had teased was going to be replacing Redacted in the bi-monthly rotation since Redacted is now a monthly segment. Let me know what you guys thought about it. I do have a couple of, of other ideas I want to explore in the future, and this will be mostly a VO-centric show, so be excited for that. But all in all... Thank you all for watching. I want to give a special thanks to my patrons if you'd like to join them in supporting the show. My Patreon is linked in the description. And thank you for your likes and subscribes and all that sort of stuff as well, if you chose to do so. 
But I'm going to get out of here. Thank you so much for watching. I've been Viral Rag. You guys give videos, lots of situations. And I'll see you another day.